Last March, when the pandemic began, many of us were looking for something to do. That included Bella Floyd. In early spring, her sophomore year in high school was paused. So one day she decided to jump on an all-terrain vehicle and simply get outside. But what happened next has put Bella and her family on the ride of their lives. I tell people every day that I wouldn't take it back if I could because I know that this is what was meant for me. To get to that feeling, we've actually got to go back to March 29th, 2020. An ATV ride ended with a crash. A teen was trapped underneath, her arm crushed. The pain was almost unbearable. With the help of friends who were riding with her, Bella Floyd was able to get free, but that arm would never be the same. I had to hold it because it, it was badly injured. So much so, doctors opted for amputation. But when it happened, I knew that was going to be the outcome. So I think I just was already prepared for that news. Now, what would be crippling for some teens simply wasn't for Bella. Now, with just one arm, she remembered a prayer, a request for a lifelong story. I believe it was a gift, something for me to use to help people. Showing people that they can do anything no matter what happens to them, and they can overcome any obstacle. To get to that turn in this tale, this soon-to-be junior at Batesville High School in Northeast Arkansas needed to jump a few hurdles of her own. So I knew it, I wasn't going to be the same as I was. From rehab to prosthetic to working out, and then finally back to playing high school sports. I figured that there would be some kind of comeback um, and that we would find a way to get her on the court to play volleyball. That was her first love, but she also found a second, a new sport. The first time we ever hit, she was really good. Less than a year after an accident took her arm, Bella is not only back to living life like a normal teen, she's excelling in just about everything she does. She's aiming at the state tennis tournament. She's also on a national travel team in volleyball. And after a recent game, her volleyball coach had to take a moment to herself to realize exactly what Bella is doing. It just kind of hit me. It, oh, it was overwhelming for me. And just to think that she was on the court after everything that she has gone through the last 10 months. Her tennis coach agrees. I'm pretty sure I get more out of helping her than she gets from the help from me. When they say, I can't do that, I say, no, no, no. Then let's talk about Bella for a minute. And there it is. The story she prayed for before losing her arm is coming true. That's part of what keeps me going is to inspire others and help them overcome their obstacles. She's unlike any other human being I've ever known. The, the pride is off the charts. Um, she's accomplished things and done it with grace and strength and courage like I've never seen. With every serve, a teen is acing one of the toughest tests of her life, proving that this living autobiography might be worth a read for us all. I love it. I love every day. Yeah.